Android Oreo, Android Orange Sherbet, Android Oatmeal Cookie. We don't know what the next Android O will stand for. What we do know is a couple of the new features that will come when Android O launches later this year. Android O debuted for the first time about a month or so ago, and now it's finally available as a public beta for select devices like the Pixel and some Nexus phones. Let's take a look. So when you first launch uh, Android O, you won't notice much of a difference, especially on the Pixel, except there's some slight differences here in the design that's now like an, uh, not a solid white, it's transparent, but more or less it all acts the same. But the real difference is here, when you bring down your notification shade, the color is not dark anymore, it's not like that dark gray, it's, uh, it's an off-white white. white. Um, as you can see, it's slightly different design, it actually looks really sleek. If you prefer a dark theme, then you're sort of out of luck here, but the slider's up here for the brightness, but you have more or less the same functions as before, being able to trigger things, jumping into settings directly by going the, the bottom, bottom part, and finding more tiles. And as you can see, they've moved a lot of the stuff that was here down here. So you have the, the next alarm down here, you have your account information, uh, editing the tiles down here and the system uh, settings up there as well. And so actually while we're right here, notifications are getting this improvement where you can, uh, apps can utilize notification channels. We can't really show that right now because apps still have to utilize it. But what I can show you is notification snoozing, which is probably the best feature uh, of Android O. So if you press that, I can actually just snooze this notification for 15 minutes or I can undo it, but it's like perfect if you get an email or a Trello notification or you know an Instagram, you wanna check it out, but you don't wanna swipe it away, but it's kinda of bothering you at the moment. I can totally just snooze it for 15 minutes, and of course, if you wanted to expand on that, you can say an hour or 30 minutes. Let's just go ahead an hour or 30 minutes to an hour, and of course, in an hour, I'll get notified of the same thing again. So that is one of my favorite features of Android o so far. Uh, again, we're still on the public beta now. Um, there's going to be five developer previews altogether, and so there's still some stuff that we will see later on. And this is the redesigned settings menu. Everything is basically streamlined. It's a lot shorter. Things have been grouped now. Uh, it's still pretty easy to find stuff. There's your system settings, updates. You can see we're running Android O. And one of the things you may notice is system UI tuner here. That's been around for since Marshmallow, but there's some new things. Uh, keep in mind, a lot of things that have shown here before uh, sometimes don't always make it into the final version. So while we see stuff here, don't expect it to be in the final version of Android. Picture in Picture is a mode that allows you to basically watch apps like YouTube or Netflix. Uh, basically, you can have it as a floating icon and have it show up. Uh, we just tried it and it didn't work, so let's jump into navigation bar. As you can see, you can actually customize this, and I have done that actually here, right here. So you can change the layout to make the navigation icons move around if what, to whatever you prefer. It's the compact one, and this is normal. You can actually add additional little things to the left and right. I've done a clipboard. I haven't actually gotten into work yet, so I'm not sure if that's available but there are other things you can do, and the same thing with the right keyboard switcher if you wanted to switch keyboards. And some of the other features uh, are basically, apart from the redesigned settings, redesigned notifications, and the snoozing notifications, is that battery optimizations, uh, now you have a lot more stricter permissions, uh, so you're actually gonna see an improvement in battery life, because Google is basically uh, restricting apps from staying on and you know actively using up the phone um, when you're not when you're in standby mode or something like that so you should see better battery life in uh, android o so you also notice this little dot here this is called notification dots and it's kind of like badges on ios uh, basically you see here that i obviously have an unread message so i can go into that and it sort of clears away um, there's also some interesting additions to the clipboard here, or the options that come up. So if you search or select things like, for example, a place name, Android o will now suggest apps that might be helpful. Uh, now this doesn't always have to be maps, for example, it can be anything that's really relevant. For example, if I select a phone number, it'll show the dialer app right here, so you can just quickly jump into the dialer and make a call. 
Uh, speaking of which, there's also this thing called autofill. We can't really test that right now, but it basically allows you to save your passwords uh, and just you know uh, fill out, fill stuff out quickly if in an app. So, in certain apps, have to uh, accept this basically. But basically, what you can do with this little clipboard icon here, which we set, uh, if it's something you can set, is basically you can press and hold it and drag stuff from your clipboard. So, if you copied something earlier, uh, for some reason, it's not really pasting anything yet. So, maybe it's just not finalized yet. So, that's obviously not all the features that uh, Android O has to offer, and there will probably be a lot more to come. Uh, as there usually are a few more tricks Google wants to show us, but uh, not until closer to the launch date. And we, of course, don't also know what Android O stands for, and we won't until later on this year when it's getting ready to launch. So that's a quick look at Android O. Uh, you can actually download it right now if you have a Google Pixel, a Nexus 6P, uh, and maybe a few other Nexus devices, but uh, it's currently available as a public beta for those devices and nothing else. So if you have one, try it out. Uh, it's fairly stable, uh, so you shouldn't worry about your phone uh, bugging out or anything, but again, this is a preview, so there will be bugs. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Android O.